control your processes. Now at times it is easy to make processes. However, it takes efforts to control your processes. As a good leader, we should control our processes to the maximum extent. Processes have been made to achieve a certain goal. Processes should also follow certain paths to achieve that goal, as should be the case in any other scenario. We should monitor your, the processes that we have made at times, at regular intervals, to see if they are on the correct path, if they are getting the correct response. If processes are not being followed or they are taking, taken negatively by your team, your colleagues, then there is no use of forming a process. A process should achieve a goal. A goal is important for a leader than the process. So if a process is not working, then you change the process to achieve a particular goal. You can ask your employees, your team, what process suits them to achieve a particular goal. Techniques can be different. However, once a process is formed, it should be monitored continuously at regular intervals. Adherence to processes should be monitored. People want to follow processes because it is easy for anybody to work when processes are followed. However, processes are not followed because they are not easy to follow or there is some problem that the people might have with the process and this a leader should understand. Make sure your processes are followed and for that you need to monitor your processes regularly. A leader's job doesn't end after making a process. A process should also be followed by uh, the leader's team or their colleagues, clients. And for that, monitoring the process is important.